In today's video, I wanna walk you through a very common issue that I see with people who are experiencing pain when bending over. If you bend over in the gym to lift weights, if you bend over on your house to do chores, and you experience back pain, I wanna explain something to you that's gonna kind of revolutionize the way you look at your body and a habit that I promise you that you might be having. And one of the habits is what I call shovel butt. Yes, I said shovel butt. You might have a shovel butt. So today we're gonna to fix the shovel butt and give you a better position so that your back doesn't hurt when bending over. Now, if you've been trying to navigate chronic back pain or life post-surgery for a while and you have an underlying sensitivity that you can't seem to shake, yes, you might feel better after exercising, but you just can't get to the bottom or the root of the issue, I wanna share a really cool resource that I call my Back Pain Workshop. You can get it at fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash back pain workshop. It's a wealth of knowledge for anyone who's trying to find the best first steps and gaining more control over what they can actually control when it comes to getting lasting relief. Not short-term stretches and ice packs and over-the-counter medicine. I mean actionable things that you can do right now that you're already doing, just making them actually better that are gonna revolutionize the way you experience pain forever. You can grab that again at fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash back pain workshop. All right, so when you're dealing with back pain when it comes to bending over, one of the best things and first areas I like to focus on with people is this idea between bow versus canister. One of these positions creates what I mentioned earlier as shovel butt. The other one creates a good neutral pain-free position and a strong foundation to lift and do things like chores from. Now, the default issue that I see, and, and I was actually guilty of creating this habit early on in my own personal training career, is this chest out, butt out idea, or also known as the bow version of the bow versus canister. So the chest out, butt out cue was simply like if you were doing a deadlift or a bent over row or a squat, I would tell them, hey, chest out, butt out, bring your chest out and stick your butt out. And what happens is, I would take them from this neutral position, and we have this habit, everyone does this now for some reason, is we go from this neutral position, which is a good position, instead of just hinging from there, what we do is we bring our chest out and we shovel butt our butt back. So we kind of scoop our butt back, creating this shovel effect in our butt, which we have to stop doing. Don't do the shovel butt, okay? What you're gonna do is what I call the canister position. This is a habit that you have to start paying more attention to if you want to experience less pain from bending over. To do the canister well, it's just about position. And then once you get into position, you practice moving and bending over from there. Great way to do this is in a non-threatening environment. So don't go try to max out on deadlift or squatting when trying to practice this. Do this right at home. So the canister essentially is from the pelvic floor to the base of the neck, right? So you're gonna bring the pelvic floor on. Whenever I talk about the pelvic floor, we talk about engaging it and bracing it as kind of like the, the bottom part of our core brace. We're gonna start with a quick breath out. <laughs> what that's gonna do is it's gonna engage everything in a standing neutral position. From there, make sure that you have a understanding of what a good neutral to you is. Once you have that area, the quick breath out will help lock this in. Our ribs are gonna stay down the entire time. It's a really important element to this position. Now, to keep the canister effect, we have everything braced, we're in a good position, and we're going to hinge with our weight back, but we're gonna break the habit of going into that bow and survival technique or survival position when it comes to just trying to lift weight or whatever we're doing. The habit of getting out of this canister is why so many people have so much pain when bending over. So a really cool way of doing this is just going very, very slow, right? Get into a good position, whether it's in front of a mirror or you can just kind of go off a of feel, but I always encourage people to kind of do it in front of a mirror. So, cause you're probably used to being in this position here and you have to see and feel what these two, um, what these, what this position feels like. So once you're there, you're going to just hip hinge back and go nice and slow, right? If you need more cueing, you can grab a pole or a broomstick handle like this, and you can get into what you think or what you feel is a good position where my head between my shoulder blades and my butt cheeks are touching this rod here. And what I don't wanna do, again, when I'm going to bend over, I don't want to shovel my butt back stick my chest out and create this massive arch in between my low back and my, just my back in general and the pole. Instead, I'm gonna brace it down 
and I'm going to hinge. Another and final cue you can make sure that you do is wherever your head goes, typically it's going to alter the position of your spine. So when you're going to, let's say, uh, doing bent over rows or you're going into a squat or deadlift, try not to lose your head positioning and crank it like this. If you go from here and you're doing this, odds are you're shoveling your butt up and you're losing that position, creating that bow in your low back. So remember, it's all about position. Practice what it looks like. Practice what it feels like. Use cues to get out of that bow position. Put you into a more of a canister position. I promise you, your low back's gonna thank you for it. At one point in your life, you had a shovel butt. So hopefully after this video, you've seen how to change it, how to make sure that you don't have the issue of being in this bow can or the bow position versus the canister position and what small tweaks you can make to just your daily practice of chores and things around the house to also being in the gym that will maximize your ability to bend over and create a habit of bending without creating more pain in your body. Make sure you go to fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash back pain workshop for that free guide. It's my best first step when it comes to navigating pain. If you have any kind of underlying sensitivity and you're not sure where to start, fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash back pain workshop is your number one first step. Go there, it'll change your life and you'll know exactly what to do next. That's it, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next episode.